News. Donald Trump is back in a New York courthouse today where he will take the witness stand in his civil fraud trial. He faces allegations that he inflated the value of his properties by over two billion US dollars in order to secure favorable loans. Well, Trump a short while ago has been speaking at the courthouse before those official legal proceedings began. Have a listen to what he had to say there. Well, uh, Israel is being attacked, while Ukraine is being attacked, while inflation is eating our country alive. I'm down here, and these are all political opponent attack ads by the Biden administration. Their poll numbers are terrible. You saw what happened today. The New York Times and CBS came out with a poll that I'm leading all over the place, but uh, it's a very unfair situation. This is really election interference. It's all it is. This trial is ridiculous. Well, covering Trump's trial is our New York correspondent, Jessica Lamezaria. She's with me on the program now. Jessica, um, what can we expect from Trump in court today, do you think? Well, you heard him there. He's repeatedly uh, called this a witch hunt. Uh, but as he was sworn in and sat down in the courtroom today, he had a very dour demeanour. Uh, this is not a televised trial, but reporters are allowed in the room. Uh, and he is going to be uh, testifying today. And we might expect him to be more conservative with his words in court because he is under oath. So if he lies, then that's perjury. Uh, this is really our first chance uh, to see him face uh, tough questioning in court. Now, this is a civil fraud case, but it will also uh, give us a glimpse of how he's going to be in court in those four criminal trials that are upcoming for Donald Trump. He is, of course, known for spreading false falsehoods, but he's going to be in, in trouble if he does that whilst in court under oath. Uh, New York Attorney General uh, uh, Tish James, she already spoke outside the courtroom uh, before this hearing, and she said that we expect uh, Trump to continue to call this a witch hunt and even to ha do some race baiting. Uh, but that at the end of the day, it's the fact facts that matter and the facts that will speak in court. Now, the judge in this case has already found him liable for fraud. So really now uh, what is uh, uh, going to be the question is what his penalty uh, will be and whether or not he will successfully appeal to be able in future to do business in New York State. And Jessica, as you say, this is a civil case that Trump is facing, not a criminal one. So tangibly, what's at stake for him here? That's right. He won't be going to jail, but he could face real consequences. He could face a fine of up, up to uh, $250 million. That's what Tish James is pushing for, for these allegedly fraudulent business activities. And he could also permanently, or at least uh, for a very long period of time, lose his real estate license in New York State, which would be devastating for him because it's not just about uh, these actual real impacts, but also about the perception of Donald Trump. Donald Trump made his name as a real estate tycoon here in New York. If he can no longer do business and he, if he is found to be uh, a fraudster and he has to pay these penalties uh, which might in, even include losing Trump Tower uh, then uh, it's not going to reflect very well on him that said so far none of his legal woes appear to have uh, dented his popularity with his followers in the polls